explain why we have our earliest sunset and latest sunrise not at the exact same time as the winter solstice. Um, so what we're seeing here is the path called the analemma that the sun would make if we took a picture of the sky at the same time every day. And so if we look around noon, and actually 12.33 is what we're seeing here, uh, we're snapping it every single day throughout the year, we get this figure eight shape known as the analemma. Well, let's take a look. Well, first of all, I guess the winter solstice would happen when the sun is at the bottom of that analemma. But let's take a look at the analemma if we looked at it very close to sunset. Uh, you can see it is making another figure eight shape, but because it's tilted, uh, what we're gonna see is that a little bit before, about a week or two before the solstice, the sun will be um, setting even though it has not quite made it to the solstice and, or and, and or to the bottom of the analemma. And so here we'll come back around and uh, watch for that. Here we are in September, crossing the equator, so fall begins. In October, the sun drops down, uh, drops pretty quickly there in October and November, and then it would be setting early in December at its earliest and then uh, it starts to come back around uh, that curve before it gets to the winter solstice. Well, what about the sunrise? Let's switch it over to the sunrise. So if we look to the other direction, uh, you can see that happens early in January because we're on the other side of the analemma. Sun will make another figure eight shape over there, and the winter solstice again would be when the sun is at the lowest point in that figure eight. But the sun rising in the morning wouldn't happen until after the sun has passed the date. and then January when it's at that lowest point uh, because of its tilt over there. Well, I hope that explains things. Merry Christmas.